Well, what is going on everybody? My name is Mehul and welcome to your sixth Android application development tutorial and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you what the heck I talked about in the last tutorial in actually on a real device so not real actually on an emulated one but you know you get the idea well <clears throat> what I was talking about in the last tutorial was all of these methods right here when they fired off so I wrote this little program which just showed me the time whenever these functions these methods were firing so <clears throat> this is a toast well i promise you guys i'm gonna teach you about toast later on trust me right now the purpose is only to make you see whenever the message whenever the function the method is fired so i'm gonna make use of this toast which is pretty much a small notification kind of in the rounded box sort of thing appears on the bottom of your screen you're just gonna see it in a minute then all of these methods include something known as this toast this then count which would be the count updater so that we could just actually see that if the toasts are displayed in the right order or not then we have assigned this override now what this override means is that all of these methods right here you see that on resume on start etc are actually coded already in a class from which you, this main activity is extending so if you I remove this pretty much you see these super dot on create become red because obviously since we are not inheriting from any class so super doesn't make any sense because super actually means that you are referring to not this current class in which you are working but to a class from which you are extending so super dot on create fires the on create method of app come back to com activity but in reality what happens is that this app come back activity is inheriting from a class known as activity well this is the base class and pretty much anything you see in your activity which extends from a certain class would probably in you know in a one extend or second extend would fall to this activity only because this is the very basic definition of all the activities so <clears throat> what is happening here is that <clears throat> with the help of super you are firing a method on create of the parent class instead of this own method then for on start as well and the reason you need to fire off these parent methods is that android takes care of your stuff like if you are assigning a variable then when your application is destroyed then freeing up your resources well java take care of that but android does provide some support as well so android requires you to call these functions these methods so that android could itself know that your activity is destroyed or it is stopped and uh, all that other functions so pretty much what happens is that whenever something happens then java would call your method and then you would inform android like a disciplined developer so let's see this application in action so i'm just gonna hit play button and hit ok and pay close attention to whatever happens now on the screen so our application launches and it shows me created started and resumed now pay close attention what happened here first of all our application was created now when this was created this toast was shown with a plus of one then our application was started it's just like you were created out of a dream you just wake up from sleep you were seeing a dream but you just you are now a new being created in this world well that's kind of sounds philosophical but anyways then you know you take a start you see what happened you just wake up and then finally you resume with your work so that's kind of what is happening here then what happens is that now when I press this home button which means to us that you know I just want this application to run in the background most of the application do that and pretty much just not show this application so let's see what happens if I click on this button right there you can see that it fires paused stopped but not destroyed 
Now the reason is that your application is still very active in the background because you pressed home button not the back button because the back button would actually kill your applications activity which would fire the on destroy method of that particular activity so what has happened here is that on pause and on stopped method is fired but not on destroy because your activity is still not destroyed actually the data is still preserved you see that if you're filling a form in you know chrome browser and you just navigate to some other website like or if you have a whatsapp message and then you just you know throw your uh, this menu right there and just open your whatsapp message then your chrome data doesn't just disappear into air it stays there because your activity is pretty much not destroyed java has not freed its resources so the next thing like if i open this application again you would see that it fires restarted started and resumed so it didn't fire the create method because your activity already is created inside memory so you do not need to fire the create method again so you can see how pretty much amazing Android is organized then if I just press this back button you can see that it fires paused stopped and destroyed so now you can see that your application is paused then stopped then destroyed so you have pretty much a lot of control over your activities and the time intervals whenever whatever things happen so that is the most awesome thing I love about Android it gives you a lot of control over what you want to do and uh, yeah so that's pretty much it for this tutorial and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching so I'll see you then in the next one